Keith Martin here at the 60th annual Pebble Beach Concord Elegance. I'm here with Sir Michael Kaduri from Hong Kong with his Alfa Romeo 1750 SS with coachwork by Zagato. Sir Michael, how long have you had this car? I've had the car since 1986. And what caused you to select this particular car to put in your collection? Well, I'm not a collector, I'm an enthusiast, and I had uh, for many years been looking for an Alfa, and after some 10 years, I was fortunate to become the caretaker of this one. Was there a lot of work involved in getting it into this condition? Well, the person you need to ask is over here, but uh, yes, it took about a year and a half to put it in this condition. Now, you've driven a fair number of cars. What sets this Alfa apart from your other cars? Well, it's a very light motor car. It's got a lot of power for what the weight is. Uh, very nimble, excellent steering, and uh, it's fun to drive. You've driven this car in the Mille Miglia, which is the home of Alfa Romeo, the home of Ferrari. Can you describe the feeling when you're in an Italian car that has great history on these historic Italian roads? The only thing I can tell you is the Italian people just love it. And the... Uh, sense of, of uh, Italy coming to life around this car makes the car even better than what it really is. Now tell us a little bit about the pedals on this car. I understand it's unusual. Well the pedals are usual for that period in as much the brake is on the right, the accelerator in the middle, and the clutch on the left. Does that ever lead to moments of excitement? Occasionally, <laughs> but uh, like anything else you get used to it. And here we are at Pebble Beach on the 100th anniversary of Alfa Romeo. How do you feel about being a part of this centennial celebration? Well, I'm delighted to be here, and I think everyone is delighted to be here to celebrate such a well-known mark. Uh, today, in this setting, is wonderful. Thank you very much, Sir Michael Kaduri and his Alfa Romeo 1750 SS. And every brilliant car is a brilliant restoration expert, and Sir Michael's expert is Keith Bowley from Cotswold, England. How long did it take you to restore this car? Normally, uh, a full restoration can take up to three years. In this instance, this car was in a position, I think we did it within two. Can we take a look under the hood here and see if the heart of any Italian machine, of course, is its engine. Now, tell us what we're looking at here. Well, you're looking... Uh, twin overhead valves, twin cam as we call it, supercharged with a carburetor Mamini um, and 1750ccs which has got quite a lot of power and this and the 8C are the best of the, of the Alfa Romeos. Describe your feeling after the two years you see this car come back to life, you fire it up and you take it down the road for the first time. Well, it's trepidation to start with, but we just love what we do. And uh, this car, I'm so pleased that Sir Michael has had the pleasure of driving it, uh, Mille Miglia and, and things like that. Uh, they're to be used. Number one, a car is to be used, uh, not to be just appreciated as an icon. Keith Bowley, the man who restored the Alfa Romeo 1750 belonging to Sir Michael Kaduri.